Hey guys, Aaron here. What's going on? So I'm just going to be showing you what I'm flying here for the 2016 flying year. Uh, I'm still flying for Horizon Hobby going into 2016. So I'm just going to show you what, uh, what we're going to be flying this year. Um, to start it off, we have the Blade 180 CFXs. Those we have over set aside. Uh, those are just kind of the beaters. We have a few of those. We just all take up at one shot um, and just beat on the fun flies. Um, starting it off here, we have a three-bladed 360 CFX. Completely stock, running the Spectrum AR7200BX. Um, just a fully stocked three-bladed 360. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, super precise and definitely worth the upgrade. Um, it just makes it a whole different helicopter. Uh, definitely would recommend the three-bladed upgrade. Um, here I have the two-bladed 360 CFX. Um, still an amazing helicopter. Just, you know, slightly different flight characteristics. Um, this one's a little more for precision. Um, this, it's a little bit cheaper fix. You know, less head components. Um, you know, kind of pick what you want to do there. Both are amazing machines, though. Um, going right to the radio, we're flying a Spectrum DX18 with Ninja Wraps, made by Joe and Travis Reyes. Um, you know, Spectrum DX18 I've been flying for about a year and a half, two years. Killer radio, definitely recommend it. Um, I definitely uh, hit up Ninja Wraps, Team Ninja, for, uh, for more vinyl wraps for their controllers and stuff. Um, now moving on to the, the main event here. Uh, we have my Raptor E700. <clears throat> um, we actually just got a custom can uh, canopy and phone case that's matching, actually made by Canamod. Um, they did a Team Horizon hobby canopy with my name on and Spectrum, um, basically all the sponsors of Horizon, and we have a matching iPhone 6 Plus case here um, that they do by special request that is really, really cool. Uh, definitely would recommend. Um, so here on the Raptor's E700, if I can get the canopy off here, still new canopy, pretty tight. Let's see here, we're running a Nick Maxwell edition Scorpion motor. If I can get the canopy off, set that aside. We're running the Nick Maxwell edition Scorpion motor in the E700. We're running the AR7300 BX. Um, just put this guy on. <clears throat> we're running all spectrum servos. We're running a Castle 120. Um, being it's a little bit of a lighter machine. We don't exactly have to run the, the 160 like you do on, like, say, a Goblin or anything, uh, like a bigger, heavier 700. Um, this runs at a slightly lower head speed, being a, it's a lighter helicopter. We run this about 1950, <coughs> um, and it still flies very good. <coughs> um, we're running Switch Blades, the Switch XF Blades, and ever since I've made the Switch, I've, this is all I've been flying. Uh, definitely would recommend the Switch Blades. They're very aggressive, but you can also do smooth flying. You can fly at a high head speed, low head speed. Um, <clears throat> and any helicopter I've flown them on, it works very well. Uh, so definitely recommend the switch. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I have a backup T-Rex 600. I'll be flying just in case anything goes wrong. Um, but for the most part, these are going to be my main helicopters this year that I'll be flying for Horizon Hobby. And definitely excited for what this year has to come. Um, you know, we'll be in a bunch of the fun flies. Um, you know, if you have any questions or comments of what events I'm going to, definitely leave them in the comments. I'll definitely get back to you. Um, other than that, yeah, this is what I'm going to be flying. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope to see some of you at the fun flies in 2016. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.